And uh, we're going to need a card selected. Spectators really can call up stock whenever they like. They can select any card. Let's just use this one, the six of diamonds. That's going to be their card, the one we need to be keeping an eye on. We're going to leave the six into the centre where it started off its journey. And then we can begin with the trick. We can even give the cards a bit of a shuffle if we would so wish, uh, just to make sure that everything is nice and fair. I mean, what seems to be increasingly popular nowadays with magicians is actually the overhand shuffle, which is quite surprising, but I, uh, I like it too for some reason. So once the cards are thoroughly mixed, what we're actually going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you something that I found out a couple of weeks ago, or at least I think I found it out. What it is, if we wave over the top of the deck, I should be able to make one card rise to the top, the selection of the six of diamonds. That's pretty cool. But if we place a six and leave it into the centre of the deck, just like this, push it in. If we don't give the wave, you see obviously uh, the selection does not rise to the top of the deck. It doesn't even rise to the second from top. See, it's when we give the wave, that's when we find the selection rises to the top of the deck. Now you see, if we place the six of diamonds forwards, just like this, leave a, uh, a few amount of cards below and above it. If we push it into the deck and then give the wave, it should rise to the top, cleverly disguising itself as the jack of diamonds. Now I'm only joking. See, this is the top of the bottom portion of the deck. The top of the deck is over here. If you watch it, you'll see it every single time. Look, we'll place the six, and this time you get to decide where the card goes in. So if you call that stop for me, here's perfect. We're going to take that card and we're going to leave it into the centre of the deck, just like that. Now again, if we don't give the wave, we see another card rise to the top, in this case the four of clubs. But you see, if one card's face up, your card also likes to think it's face up. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try and demonstrate that. So if we take the four of clubs and uh, give it a quick wave, and then we give the wave over the top. That's when we find that your selection, the six of diamonds, once again rises to the top of the deck. Now for the finale, we'll play the six, place it down on the table, dribble the cards slowly over the top, and with the wave, that's when we find that your selection, the six of diamonds, the only ambitious card in the deck, rises right to the top. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.